Purdue quarterback David Blau joins us now from our studio in West Lafayette. We'll get to the bowl matchup in a moment, David, but I want to start first with the fact that you guys are in a bowl game at all. To beat your rival, Indiana, in the last game and for that to be the game that propels you into the postseason, what did that mean to you guys? Right, you know, I think uh, that should be the standard at Purdue. I think, um, obviously, we're proud of where we are now after starting 0-3. Uh, it was a tough start to the season for us, and we battled back. The guys fought hard. Uh, got great coaches who, who kept us together, and uh, we beat some good teams to get there. And then, obviously, um, keeping the bucket and, and getting to go back to another bowl game is, is fantastic for our program and, and where – you know, where this program hopes to go. So, um, you know, it was special for us to beat Indiana, uh, to go back to another bowl game. Now we're looking forward to that and hopefully end our season on a, you know, winning season and, and send the seniors out right and, and propel us a little bit into the spring and into next year for Purdue. This has been such a big week for Purdue, and it has very little to do with the bowl berth. It's, of course, all about the right. fact that Jeff Brom is coming back, is going to remain the coach at Purdue what was the reaction of the guys on the team when they heard the news that he definitely is going to return? Well, we were confident the entire week. Um, you know, we, we knew the discussions that were going on. And, um, you know, for any man, uh, home is appealing. And, you know, Coach Brown's got a lot of tradition in Louisville. So, we, you know, we understand, um, you know, that's home for him. And for him to make the commitment to Purdue and for our administration to step up and, and to – um, you know, make the commitment uh, to Purdue football. And uh, it shows there's so many people much bigger than, than what we see as athletes who believe in us, uh, people who uh, want us to be successful and, and are providing the resources and the, um, you know, the people, the staff, the support to put us in a situation to be successful. So uh, all the guys were ecstatic. We knew, you know, we were confident Coach Brahman had, had addressed the issue with us a little bit. Um, and it was not a distraction for our team at the end of the year, but um, we were confident that, you know, he was going to stay a Boilermaker, and, man, we're really proud that he is, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to where this program can go under, under his reign. What has made him so good and so successful in just these two short years in terms of getting this program on such a good trajectory? Right, the guys, the guys play for him. Uh, he's got a great job of getting the guys ready to play every single week, and, um, people uh, believe what he says and it's because he's a genuine and honest man and a man of character and, and we, we'll run through a wall uh, for somebody like that and uh, we have we played hard you know I think uh, with the recruiting classes that he has coming in I think um, you know there's potential to to keep building this program and going forward um, and you know we played hard and, and we've worked hard for him but it's because he's believed in us. The coaching staff that we have has believed in us. Uh, and they've worked hard for us, so we're going to reciprocate that for them. And, um, you know, and then you, you win some close games. You beat some teams that maybe some people don't think you should beat. And uh, you get to be in a situation like this at the end. And, you know, my challenge for the, the, the guys going forward is, is that they can do more and, and you know, hopefully compete and, and keep building this program and hopefully off you know, what the senior class left for them. Let's get into this matchup just a little bit. It is an Auburn team that beat Washington, the Pac-12 champ, right. playing a very competitive conference, as you know, kind of been an up-and-down season for them. How much do you know about the Tigers? Yeah, you know, to me, uh, when you think of the SEC, you think Alabama and Georgia and Auburn and, you know, Tennessee historically, and, and those are the schools that, that jump into your mind. So, Every year, Alabama, or I mean, Auburn has a, a fantastic defense, and um, you know I'm friends with from the Manning Passing Academy with the quarterback down there, and uh, so we follow each other. And you know they they lost some close, tough games this year. They played some really good teams, and obviously when you play in the SEC West, there's going to be a lot of competition. So we know we're going to have our hands full. They're a great team. They're well coached. Uh, expect a good defense and. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get back to practice this week and prepare on the film and, and be ready to put on a show. Finally, David, your last game as a Boilermaker. What do you think when you hear that? Uh, it's gone by quick. Uh, five years is, has gone by, and, uh, gone by a little bit too quick, but uh, I'm forever grateful for my time here and uh, the people that I've met along the way, the experiences I've had, good and bad, and 
because of Purdue, I'm prepared for life after football, whether uh, it's next year or 10 years or whenever that may be. And uh, I'm forever grateful to be a Boilermaker and, and ready to suit up one last time to make sure uh, we ended on a good note. All right, David, we look forward to watching this game. Such a pleasure to cover you all these years. Uh, best of luck to you going forward, and I hope our paths cross here soon. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me.